So what do you do if you file your tax return but you cannot afford to pay the taxes? Hi, I'm Jim Flaus. I'm enrolled to represent taxpayers before the Internal Revenue Service in all 50 states. Well, in this case, it's a letter I received from a real estate agent. And it goes like this. Dear Jim, uh, I filed my return in April. Uh, I was counting on a couple of closings uh, in May to pay my taxes. But one of the closings uh, fell apart and the other one I used to pay uh, my current expenses. I got an IRS notice in May um, and again in June and now I have a certified letter uh, that is threatening to levy my bank account. What do I do? What is tax relief it says and uh, is there something that it can do to help me in my situation? So. First of all, let me just share with you, there's really three different uh, courses of action you could take at this point. If you owe $15,000, if you could borrow $5,000 or find a, have a closing or some other income and get the balance down to $10,000 or below, then you could actually set up a monthly payment agreement with the IRS automatically, online. Uh, just go to the irs.gov website, search online pay agreement, and you will automatically be able to set up a payment uh, over 36 months to take care of your tax problem. So your payments might be 280, 300 a month. If the amount is over 10,000, again, let's say 15,000, uh, well, a monthly payment agreement or what the IRS calls an installment agreement is certainly one way to resolve the issue. How do you do that? Well, you really have two choices. First choice, you call the IRS. Be prepared to sit on the phone for about an hour to 90 minutes. Here's the danger. You've never set up a payment arrangement with the IRS. You've never dealt with the IRS in this manner. You're somewhat, uh, well, you're inexperienced and you could get yourself into a payment arrangement that may be higher than what you really can afford. The worst thing in the world is to get a payment arrangement that three months from now you realize you can't keep the payments and then what do you do? So it might be a better alternative to have someone like myself, a, a taxpayer representative, negotiate with the IRS to set up that payment agreement and make sure that it's affordable. Your second alternative is something that everybody asks about, everybody sees on TV. It's called an offer and compromise. Hey, why does an offer and compromise uh, work? Uh, I've had situations, I've had taxpayers who owe several hundred thousand dollars in taxes. We settle with the IRS for less than twenty thousand dollars. How is that possible? Well, it's possible because the IRS does a calculation of what's called revenue collection potential. You really have to be in a situation where your revenue collection potential is low for the IRS to settle. But it is possible. What's the third option? So I've mentioned two already. Set up a payment agreement, installment agreement with the IRS, number one. Number two, you could, you could have an offer and compromise and settle for less than what you actually owe. You would have to qualify and a professional like myself can help to determine do you really qualify for that. And then the third option is called currently not collectible status. What is that? That would be a case where the IRS would just put your case on the shelf for a year, probably two, because you're in a situation of financial hardship. Now, if you're in real estate and you don't have any closings coming up or you have a very small uh, number of closings in your pipeline, then you know, you may consider that financial hardship. That's not what the IRS, however, calls financial hardship. It's determined by what are national and local collection standards. So if you, for example, live in Chesapeake, Virginia, the IRS knows that you're going to spend a certain amount for housing and utilities, and uh, it's going to be different than if you live in Richmond, Virginia, or if you live in Boise, Idaho, because every city has different living standards. So the IRS takes this into account. But they're not going to allow you to put your tax bill on the shelf and not pay them if you're really living uh, beyond your means, or well, let's put it frankly, beyond what the IRS considers to be your means. I mean, they are fair. The IRS is limited by federal law in terms of what are financial uh, collection standards and what they can do with taxpayers. But they do play by the book and they play hard. But if you file a return and you owe the IRS, you do have ways to resolve your tax problem and to do it permanently. It could be an installment agreement, it could be an offer and compromise, it could be a currently non-collectible status. Uh, and there's also ways to abate the penalties and interest that are accumulating. That's why you need taxpayer representation if you have a tax problem with the worst people you want to deal with in the world if you owe a debt, and that's the IRS. 
Uh, thanks for watching. That's it for this time. Until next time, I'm Jim Flaus, Anchor Tax Relief.